people have always looked to this nation as the last best hope of Earth. From the moment I take office as president, I will call together scientists and entrepreneurs, heads of industry and labor, Democrats, Republicans, and Americans from all walks of life to help develop and deploy the next generation of energy that will allow us to build the next generation's economy. The days of debate about whether or not the globe is getting warmer are over. We know that global warming is real, that if we don't do anything about it, global climate change, that we could see catastrophic results. Right now, we could increase the fuel efficiency standards in our cars to 43 miles a gallon. And if we increased our fuel efficiency to 43 miles a gallon, then we would have to import zero oil from the Middle East. That is something that we could do right now. You take the national low carbon fuel standard and increase fuel efficiency standards, we could take the equivalent of 50 million cars worth of pollution off the road by the year 2020. The question is not if a renewable energy economy will thrive in the future, it's where. And if we want that place to be the United States of America, we can no longer afford to wait. You say 20% of our energy will come from renewable sources like wind, like solar, like uh, biomass, like hydrothermal. And by setting those high standards, suddenly you start seeing more investment in these areas, technology improves, and over the long run, you start seeing significant changes. We have to understand that we've got a moral obligation to the next generation to make sure that they've got a, a planet that is sustainable and viable, the same way that we inherited a sustainable, viable planet from our parents and our grandparents. I think young people in particular recognize the importance of this issue and in their own day-to-day uh, -day lives uh, they are trying to make sure that they are uh, carbon neutral and making sure that they're not uh, wasteful and all those things add up. I want our children and our children's children to point to this generation and this moment as the time when America found its way again, as the time when America overcame the division and the politics and the pettiness of an earlier era so that a new generation could come together and take on the most urgent challenge of this era. I am running for the presidency of the United States of America to lead us towards this new era.